Uh, speaking of wildfires, I've, I've, I've been hearing a lot of people talking about, you know, regretting that they didn't take their photos with them, their photo albums, and articles where, you know, people are recommending if you're going to evacuate, make sure you have your photos. Well, I mean, this is 2017, people. You should have all your photos stored somewhere online, on a cloud, uh, on the web, so that if ever your photos, your physical copies of those photos get destroyed, you always have them online. And you can always download them, and if you prefer to have physical copies, you can always down and download and print those photos. Sure, you might have the originals from way back when, when you were uh, married or your new babies and things like that. Maybe back, you know, uh, when they had film cameras and you had those all in your photo albums, physical photo albums. And those are nice to have. And, and you can keep those. You should keep those. Show others. It's not, you know, you can... But you should also scan those photos. Scan them. You can do that yourself quite easily uh, with with your own, if you want to buy your own scanner or some, some public libraries have scanning uh, available uh, for, for uh, library patrons. Check your local library, some have them. Um, or in other cases, if you if you're not, if you're a technophobe, you can't do things like this yourself. There's places that will digitize all your photos for you and your slides. And there's, uh, you can just go online or, or search or, or listen to the ads uh, on, on the radio. You'll hear about them. They're becoming very popular. Uh, but it's more expensive to do that way as well. Or, if, you know, maybe you can have your uh your grandkids who are more uh, familiar with technology do it for you. Another way to do it is, uh, it's not as perfect, but you can still do pretty good, is use your, your own phone and take pictures of those pictures. And then you have at least copies on your phone and you can also um, upload them from your phone onto a blog or onto a website or or just into uh, your Gmail. And Gmail has extra space storage uh, for your photos. You can do it that way and you can edit those photos and sharpen them, make them more clear if the photo wasn't that great. So whatever the case may be, you should always have uh, some some form of digital copy of your physical photos so that if worse comes to worse and the fire does happen and you can't take those with you, uh, you know, you still have copies somewhere. So that's just my uh, suggestion and advice for all of you if you didn't think about that in advance. God be with you and bless you. We're praying for you, for you in the fire zone. Uh, be safe. Merry Christmas.